Who's taking me back up? <laughs> so, here we are, just ready to pass Lockside, Lock Lomond, still pissing the rain, but I'll be half the dry patches here and there. You know what? I've been totally unprepared this season. Forgot the mount for my camera, forgot my jumper, forgot the belt for my jeans. Earlier, I had to get back home, get my bank card, forgot that as well. Just totally unorganised this year. And I'm blaming it on the fact that I don't have a garage. Every house I've ever had has had a garage. And it's like, you know, you're preparing for your trip. You've got the bike in the garage. You start putting bits on the bike. You start kind of semi-packing, getting yourself ready with a cover over it. I can't do any of that. All right, all right, I could pack in the house, but you don't get the same. It's not the same, is it? Getting the panniers out and just packing in the house. you got to kind of get it on the bike, get it all sitting nice, and then you're like, oh, I need to remember and bring that, I need to remember and bring that. But I've had to do all that in the space of like an hour this morning. And I forgot stuff. So I'm going to blame it on the fact that I don't have a garage. Every biker needs to have a garage, don't they? And then you'll ask me, well, why did you buy a house and didn't you have a garage? Oh, I'm not going to go into it. But there are reasons for it. And it wasn't my choice. But I've had to make do. Let's just say that. But things may change. You never know. I might get my way and I might get a house with a garage. It's the be all and end all. And I know there'll be loads of folks say you don't need a garage. No, you don't need a garage, but it's so much easier if you've got one. That's a shame because that's a lovely road. And we're going to have to just take it easy. So on the Hyperstrada, you're, uh, you've got three riding modes, sport, touring and urban. Urban runs a, a lower BHP, I think it's something like 70 something brake horsepower. And it's not as lumpy through town, but I've never really used it. I remember I accidentally put it in urban mode and I was thinking, God, I think this feels a bit slow today. Or maybe it's just me. And then I realised I was in urban mode and that basically... What's going on here? That basically um, was the reason behind it. It's the only time I've ever been in urban mode. Now this is the thing. Can I get past any of this? Ah, uh, boss. That was a bit tight. And then you've got touring mode, which is full power, but it's got more traction, more ABS, more, inter more ABS intervention, more traction intervention. And then you've got sport mode where it's not off, but you've got very minimal interaction from your traction and your ABS. 
So when it's raining, I tend to stick it in touring mode, just in case I get a wee bit eager and the tyres can't grip. So I would tend just to put it in. These mirrors are a bit... I tend to put it in um, touring mode for that reason. The thing with this road is, it's so narrow that if you've got a bus coming either way then you just don't get past it. You've got to take a chance. There we go, look at the state of this. Scary stuff. But it's a great road, this. That truck up ahead stinks. It's honking. It's like dead smell. Dead animal smell. Don't know what it is, but it's just horrible. Well, I'm going to jump off at the moment. I'll catch up with you at the Green Welly. We can take it. Maybe I can do something with this second camera. I hate just having the one camera. It's easy to edit, but it's I prefer to I prefer to be able to show you from point of view. Oh stinks man. I need to get by this thing. It just stinks. I'm sitting out here just trying to let the riders behind me know there's nothing coming. Not so bad. I can't see though. I want to pass it and I think the road's clear but I can't see for spray. Oh jeez. What is in that? He's not even going to let us pass, look. Come on! That's better. God, that smell is horrendous. I feel a wee bit sick actually. So here we are at the welly. We've had a couple of drops when I passed that big stinky truck. Uh, Bex and Debbie I think, followed me through and then went to pull in because there was a bus coming the opposite way and um, dropped their bikes <laughs> dropped their bikes, oh dear but all good not much damage, all should be dandy that's us now heading towards Glencoe lovely bit of road does, seen it many times but it should be a nice little run it's been raining, it's like 12 degrees, 12 degrees
so we're in Sky. I know what happened. Well, it's been just torrential rain. It's been horrendous. So you can tell looking at the peaks ahead, we are in the sky. Yes, we are. So now on our way to the digs, we've been to the co-op, we've got all the food we need to cook at the hostel tonight. And we've got stuff for breakfast in the morning. All good. I can hear you now, buddy. I couldn't that's hear you the last time, though. See, that's why my phone would disconnect. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Cause my phone's updating anyway. I'm all right with this. Yeah, so I mean, the thing is, it's weird because we never got us to connect before, did we? No. Don't know why it's there. It's not connected to my phone, though. Ah, uh, maybe the reason why. Aye. So that's been the hold up the whole time. I'm going. Hello, I'm connected to somebody's phone. <laughs> it's me, mate. Oh, it's just Robert. Put your tunes on so I can hear them. <laughs> I, I have. But for some reason, my tunes are on the one. Hold on. Connected can to you me. hear them? Nah. Because you're connected to me, I'll go behind you! Is that okay? Vex is a bit scared going down this hill. Here you go. Vex! You want me to do it? You stay here! And I'll get somebody to bring me back, okay? Oh, the fun. This is a really, really tough road, though. Oh, the heated grips are on. It's a tough, really tough it is. And it is a big bike. But, first gear. Foot in the clutch, hand in the clutch even, foot in the back brake, just take it nice and easy. Yeah, I know.
Who's taking me back up? That's all right. Just take me to the bottom if you want. But you need to bring you need to bring Bex back. You alright? <laughs> I know. Hi, what is it? You alright? You want to turn that? Oh, <laughs> so we're back. These things happen, you know, it's like, it is a toughie. Actually, I quite enjoyed that actually, that wee bike. Quite nice. You taking our back? You okay? Right, I'll pull it. Just get in there. I've got it. Oh, that's your phone that's connected, Again? Robert. Right, you want me to disconnect mine? Uh, if you right, can. I'll just turn mine off now. Right. Thanks. Oh. I saw the stress done for the date. I'm saying it's in force, but it's not. Well, oh, it's doing that. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Yeah. So, I saw the stress done. Nice run now. 50 miles, it'll take us along. This is a really nice road, this. Um, out of Oeg, towards Portree. <sighs> you need to wait on Grams. <sighs> and then, um, we're going to fall up, pull in at Island Donning Castle, and then it's a nice big long stretch all the way to Fort William. It's a plan then. That's the plan. Yeah, weekend, good. Weekend was good. So 
habe ein bisschen Runde Day. Tiles will still be a wee bit cold, so just take it easy for a wee bit. Get some heat under them. And we're blessed by a good day. Crap on the way up on Friday. Rained for most of the day yesterday. But today we should have a good run back down the road. Dry roads. Still a bit cold though. Still 10 degrees. Still a wee bit chilly. Uh, Beck's bike was actually quite nice. Uh, quite light riding that. So all in all a good weekend. Kind of. It was a good weekend. And last night. As you would have seen, we had a couple of guitar players in the room. Charlie, who was on the acoustic, and I can't remember the French guy's name, who had this like tiny wee six-string electric guitar that kind of folded, folded in so he could take it anywhere. Uh, but the sound that came out of it, with his little amp, was awesome. Oh, this is, this is the weather you want in Sky. You get to see the mountains, get to see the whole landscape, it's just awesome. That's why I love coming here. And you can see the road surfaces are so good on the main tracks. The BP roads are a bit dodgy in a lot of places, but if you stay on the main track, if you're just doing a, like a run round it, then it's, it's, um, but somewhere else. Something out of this world. Okay folks, that's us, end of the sky trip, 2024. Next year we might have three days of sunshine, who knows. Or we might not even go to sky next year, we might go somewhere else. I'm looking at a different venue for next year. We've done a cow shed the last three years, but Uwe gets quite far up in sky, it's like 50 miles up from the bridge when you cross over onto the island. So I'm thinking of getting somewhere a bit closer. So yeah, 
that will be us. And I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. I know we all did. So I'll just pass by the green welly. We're going straight on through. Because we've already filled up. Plus, oh, we're going in here. What are we going in here for? What are we going in here for? I thought we'll just go straight to... Straight home. Fuck. I thought we were driving straight through. Alright. Fuck's sake. What? I came past the motor and then he was behind me and then nothing. Ah, fuck it, I just keep running. Quite right. I was actually quite good sitting at the back for a change. Quite enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing the cars, but I thought I kind of napped her a wee bit close in front of him. But I never left as much room to get in. Aye. It's quite tight. Because I caught it quite fine when I seen him with it. But it must have just napped him behind the camera. Aye, aye. That's Stuart, by the way. It's not the same one. You sure? Oh no, he's got, he's got, he's got a back box as well. Is it? That's a Gen 2, not a Gen 3. Aye, that was Stuart. Anyway. I'm Oski. Till next time, walk it out. Setting up a goal to grow from heart. It's all about to master who we are. Nobody's gonna make me feel I'm off the charts. Take it as I go Do it all right, do it okay Stronger than ever Faded, it's not a shade of mine All in all, I'm doing fine Do it all right, do it Then a video. Ha, ha, ha.